And I think, if I remember correctly, we're going to put a really cool, like, yeah, dual it's, one sink. It's, it's a one. Like, water it's a one, Yeah, it's a one-piece, old-style uh, vanity, which is very good for wheelchair access. Okay. So we're on the master suite garage conversion to a master suite project. And we've really been wanting to show y'all what a garage conversion to a master suite would look like. So you saw us get set up for it. Now let's go look and see what we're doing inside. It looks different. Hey Dan, about to knock it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How are y'all getting in? Right through the ladder here. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a big step on the inside because oh. it's higher on the inside. That's a good little, that's a good little deal there. <laughs> so we're standing and this part will be the bedroom and they're outlining the rooms, right? Yeah, this is, this is where the closet and the bathroom starts. And as you can see, this drops down for a, for a zero uh, threshold, for zero threshold. Yeah, zero clearance threshold. It will be a complete roll-in shower. And then where they're up against that wall is where the uh, bathroom vanities and sinks will be. And I think, if I remember correctly, we're gonna put a really cool, like, yeah, dual it's, one sink. It's, it's a one, like water it's a one, yeah, it's a type. one piece, old style uh, vanity, which is very good for wheelchair access. I was gonna say, yeah. Uh-huh. And then a toilet right here, of course. And as you can see, we've built up this entire floor from what it was here. This is where it was before. And now it's just one step in, which really is a lot higher than it used to be. It was all the way down here. So we built it one level. And that allowed us to keep this all at the same level, keep this at the same level. Otherwise, it was going to get into moving the brick, moving the doors, moving the water heater. We can work with the budget, and we have one little step down. But and we'll this is the washer and dryer uh -huh. room. Washer and dryer there. We got a couple of closets here, and, a water and we do softener have some plumbing in. and a water softener in here. Yeah. And that won't be an issue at all, right in here, because this is such a big area. It doesn't look like it now, but it's a very large area. Yeah. And that's what Sarah and I were thinking. We were like, okay, they're going to fit all this in here. But once the walls come up, it feels so much yeah, bigger, right? Everything looks bigger with the walls up. Yep. So we built a floor on top of a concrete floor. And it didn't have to be concrete. This would be a lot more expensive. In spite of the fact that lumber is not cheap right now, it would have been even more to pour concrete. But it's strong. You can't feel any vibration even over there where y'all are standing. You just, it just sounds solid. When you put flooring on top of this, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna put tile on top of this. Why do we have to raise it? Well, we raised it just to get inside easier so they don't have so many steps. And then it also is... also allowed us to do that, that um, roll-in shower. Yeah, cheaper than trenching out. Right. And do we also have to do it since it's a garage to waterproof? No, but that the wall will prevent us from being will prevent oh, okay. the water from coming in, which it's already sloping away. But now they're going to have two nice windows, and so what we do is we try to build most of this coming in through the windows, and then at the windows close up, we'll go in through the back. That just means less traveling through the back of the house. <laughs> Limit that is. We tore down all the sheetrock and we're gonna add insulation. There was no insulation in, in these two walls, but they did have sheetrock on them. So we tore them down so that we could get sheetrock in them. And then of course the attic was not insulated either. So we're insulating the attic, the walls, and of course the new wall back there. Exciting. So, so we don't take things out unless we have to. Here's a good example right here. This was the header for the garage door. This was what, what supported the, the double wide garage door. But why take it out? It's a big, strong piece of lumber. You can just build right under it. Of course, we're standing a lot higher here than we were before it was down here. And uh, so we just built around it. 
and added more studying in here because of the siding and so forth we're going to do. But were you wondering about that one? I didn't see it, but that's cool. Yeah, we just cut it off and put the new windows there. It's exciting. It's going to so, be big. Yeah, the next, the next phase will be when drywall and sheetrock and all the insulation will have been done. We're going to be putting in plumbing and electrical this week. We've already gotten it. And by the way, this is, this is kind of interesting. We had to get the plumbing and the floor inspected before we could cover it up. So, so we had to build the structure of the floor. Then we had to get the plumber to run it and then get it inspected. And, and then, then they allow you to cover it up. So we got that inspected. And now we'll build the walls and then we'll get another framing inspection. Wow. And another plumbing inspection. And, an, and then we'll get our electrical inspection at the same time. So that's how that works. We'll show you what, how it looks on the next one.